Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a Stigger haul. We just have three shops, two of the usual, Scrib Scribble Prince Co and Caress Press, and I have a little script order from Planner Choco. But that's it for this order, so let's just get straight into it and look at all the stickers. So first I just have a mini script order from Planner Choco. I really enjoy her, the font that she has. I think this is font four, I'm pretty sure. Um, but first I have a little freebie in a purple foil. I really like the drippy words, a really cute font. Um, so I love that. And then I just picked up scripts of, yes, it's um, U4, which I think you can get in all caps or lower cases or something like that. But anyway, <laughs> this is uppercase 4, I think that's what it means. Because I really like it in all uppercase. Um, but this is just scripts for two TV shows. <laughs> and I got two lots for this show, Supernatural. You can see how many you get on a sheet. Um, and these are perfect for little things, so great for TV shows like Supernatural. <laughs> I just got two because um, eventually we'll get back to our rewatch. We need to start season seven. I just want to have them in my collection. And the next one is One Piece. <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, Jess, why do you have all these One Pieces? Didn't you just finish watching the live action eight episodes for the second time? And yes, but hear me out. Um, I want to start possibly reading the manga, and I also possibly want to rewatch the anime from the beginning. I think we watched about 700 episodes previously, <laughs> and there's like 1,092 episodes, something like that now. So if we start watching the anime or reading the manga, which again also has a lot of volumes, um, I probably need a lot of One Piece scripts, <laughs> possibly could easily go through all of these sheets. But I just picked up, what, five sheets of One Piece. And I'm very happy she fit in a couple two, couple on the side as well, I guess, because it's a short, much shorter than Supernatural. But um, yeah, I just got these on clear glossy paper. Looks like they cut pretty well. Pretty really nice, and I really like the look of the, um, the font. I think it's really cute. It's uppercase four. But yeah, that's just my little planner choco order. And um, yeah, I really enjoy her little scripts and that font. Next we have Caress Press. Just a couple of things from her, from Maggie. I love, uh, we have some, a freebie of some leaf um, overlays in gold. Really pretty. Always nice to have. And then I picked up one um, foil bundle, which is Stormy in silver. Did this come from a mystery, but I didn't end up buying this mystery. Um, uh, but I did pick up the foil because it's really cute. In silver. You have like a little rain boot and umbrellas and storm clouds and little rain droplets. I love that, like, um, the glitter headed design. That's really cute. Oh, look at the bottom washi. That is so adorable. This obviously be perfect. Well, it's perfect right now for us. Now, autumn, it's been raining a lot. <laughs> but it'd also be perfect in spring as well. But yeah, I just thought it was a really cute design. And although I wasn't vibing with the mystery, I was vibing with the foil. So I picked that up. I think it only came out in the silver. And it makes sense. <laughs> To come out in silver. I'll do that later. Oh my gosh, Jess. <laughs> Just move on. Anyway, then I got a couple of kits. I picked up Autumn Mysteries, which seems like a really fun bookstore set. It's clearly, um, I feel like it's very much about Sherlock Holmes with the terms of the characters. Maybe this person's really into mysteries. I feel like this front page here, like, this is kind of just a general bookstore book reading kit in an autumn colorway. Really nice and clean. We got an extra box of this planner, plus the Kindle and, like, um, AirPods and stuff. Highlighting or whatnot. See, this is what makes you think it's, like, it's Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> like a murder mystery kind of set, which I really like. I think that's fun. I don't mind mystery books. Well, I don't really read a lot of them, but 
Uh, I'm reading, uh, currently I'm reading a sci-fi mystery book that I'm into. So, but that's more about the mysteries of aliens being murdered rather than people. But anyway, <laughs> I got the 15 millimeter. I really like the colors. Just a really soft, pretty autumn set. Now I'm rethinking my November lineup. This might have to go in there. <laughs> Because I think it's really cute and I love the reading theme of it. And the more retro patterns. I always get the ultimate kit just in case. Plus actually in my sidebar I do cut down these checklists to use. Yeah, then they turn out really cute and it's got a little book um, washi there. A book pattern. Then I picked up Booze and Bats with that new Celise on. It's really fun colors. I love the bright pink and the orange and, you know, I always love the orange and pink sort of hot colors. And then with the black and purple, it's really fun. I love it. It's like a, obviously like a ghost party, ghost themed party. And we have some extra boxes of this like little lounge room scene and the hand. And I, I don't know if I, I don't think there's other colorways. We've got peach for the bottom washi. Some really cute like little balloons and um, the cake and everything. I suppose this could be content. I really love these color this color way here. I suppose I think this is my only like party Halloween set that I have this year. So I suppose it's in the running for my birthday spread, right? And this orange ghost paper makes me think of this orange ghost wallpaper in The Sims. It's literally that shade of orange, which is crazy. <laughs> It's such a cute wallpaper. We've got the um, the themed uh, doormat there, which Celise likes to do. The patterns are really fun. I just really love these colors. And I love the black accents of the bottom washi and the day covers with it. So yeah, I don't know. It, it's uh, I still haven't decided on my October lineup. <laughs> As of filming, I'm literally about to after this, but this has got to be in the running, I think, for my birthday spread because I don't really have anything else party-wise. But we, sh we shall see. We shall see. I have to check how many boxes I got. But yeah, it's really, really cute. But that is everything I got from Caress Press. And then we have the usual big pile of Scribble Prints Co. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I got some freebies here. I got one of the little Barbie freebies, um, which is always fun because I really like these um, these doodles. And then I got the green freebie for 75 plus. Really fun, sort of monster green, <laughs> apple green. And then I got two of this purple, which is really fun. Makes me think of Cadbury. Oh. And I got a few colors of the week here. I've got this sort of, um, sorry, I'll, I'll zoom out a bit. I got this sort of taupe color, always up for the um, sort of neutral ones, especially this time of the year. And then I got the bright orange, great for Halloween. This would go well with that booze, the boo kit, I think. It pretty much matches that orange. So if I use it for my birthday spread, then that is an option. Then I picked up two sets of both of these without these scribblers. Because they're pretty like, you know, universal colors. We got a black and we have a cool toned pink. So this is awesome to have. That's why I picked up two because I'm like, I could probably use a lot of the pink ones. And obviously a lot of the black ones too. So I love that one. And those are all the doodles of the week. Then I picked up the uh, three of the laundry scripts. I just need some more laundry scripts. Then I picked up, and you can't see these, but these are the um, whole reinforcers in clear. So a few different angles you might notice them. There you go. And I've already used up two sheets of these because these are perfect if you're using like an, um, a non-core or non-core fun. So if you're using a fun foil from Andrea, she obviously doesn't have the um, whole protectors in the foil bundles. So if I can't match them with other ones of these, then I just use the clear. And they're always useful to have. And I've just used them all up. So just restocking. Then I got the like little loofah for marking showers and cleaning and such. So that was a really cute little doodle. 
I picked up a couple scribblers. I got the crying face ones. The little cowboys. I don't know what I was going to use these for. I mean, it could be used for a number of things. Games and things like that. Yeah, I just saw the cowboys. I'm like, I'll pick up a cowboy. You know what I would really love? A pirate. <laughs> but not like... I want a generic pirate, you know what I mean? Like for One Piece. Or maybe I just want One Piece characters. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just obsessed with One Piece. Again, because I used to be like 10 years ago. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Like literally like when I was getting into One Piece, it was like 20, it was like 2013, 2014. So yeah. Um, and then that's how long it's been around. I got the sunburnt ones. Because sometimes, I've just never had a sunburn sticker and I need them. <laughs> then I got a whole bunch of the confetti bundles in the different foils. I think this is the gunmetal one. You kind of see there in the Scribble Prince Co. I picked up the sparkly orange, which is really fun. You can see that bit of a sparkle and hollow. I picked up the sparkly, I think it's sparkly black, but this is more of a... Um, Chunky sparkle, so it's a bit harder to see. But yeah, it's got a bit of a sparkle to it, this black. And then I picked up two of the chocolates, I think it ended up being called. And I feel like it's very chocolatey. You see it there? Yes, so I really like those. Love the confetti bundles in the different foil colors. But let's finally get into some kits. First, I picked up Tattoo Studio. Yes, Tattoo Studio. And this is um, exclusive art to SBC by Darcy and just a really fun tattoo set. I love the purples in this and the girls. The tattoos looks amazing. Um, I don't have any tattoos myself. Get some freebies. I also picked up the fashion girls and I picked up the doodles. But I do have a tattoo artist that I follow who I totally would get one from but it's a matter of money and design and time and whatnot so eventually I like to get one from that artist because they're really cool and I love their designs but it's eventually but I thought you know this came up I might as well get it now while I can get it with all the add-ons and stuff so I don't want to miss out so I picked this one up it's really really beautiful and will be a good anytime kit for whenever that happens then I picked up Vampire, finally happy to have my uh, my last Halloween art for this year. Oh, I really love how this came out. I was really going for like, because like vampires are like one of my favorite things. So I've always planned to do vampires, but I finally did it this year. And I thought it paired well with my haunted bookshop as well. They're both pretty dark and romantic and... Um, kind of fancy I feel like in terms of Halloween and my main inspiration really for this was a combination of Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola which is my favorite and also Interview with a Vampire and kind of getting those feels together especially with the Coppola's Dracula with the like red light um, streaming in through the windows I just really like that sort of more romantic view like romanticism um, in terms of art style. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's how I thought I was going through and what I was inspired by. And I just wanted like sexy, slinky vampires and women in pretty dresses kind of look. <laughs> I think we got that. And we also have a little bit more of the dark, spooky. I saw this like statue where like the face was split and open with the skeleton coming out. And I thought that would be so cool. <laughs> to have in this set and we have like the spilled goblet and a beautiful book and then you have up here like the the stakes and the hammer and like a bloody book and the garlic and I thought this was really fun to have like the bat candlestick with like a red flame I don't know I really like how it came out and I really like this background too where it was just like the shadow of like a winged vampire monster over a door so that was a cool background and then I had to do like um, this hand with like the the um, pearls falling and with like they've just been bitten I guess just turned because otherwise why would you bite there you know what I mean and then I picked up the family with the family three with the brown hair 
And we have like, this is sort of like the victim's hand and this is like the vampire's hand. And then, yeah, so. <laughs> and then I brought in more of the, the feel of like the old school black and white Dracula kind of universal monster feel with this um, biting one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not good at talking today, but I really wanted to film this whole <laughs> And I thought it was really fun to have, like, um, I saw this, like, it was like a painting, but, like, they didn't have the head, because it's almost like a photograph of the vampire, and they didn't get shown through the, it's like how they don't show up in mirrors kind of feeling, but it's like a painting in a, or a photograph in a frame. And they have, like, the bloody roses. I thought that was really fun. And then we just did, uh, I don't want to do like red and black again. I feel like it was, it's always done with vampire art and a lot of Halloween art. So I went with more of the berries and to have more of a, a richer color palette by doing the berries and browns and taupe. Oh yes, I love, I'm glad that the box, the full box is in the, in the um, last page. And then I did like these fun Baroque patterns with the, um, the leaves and everything. But yeah, so that was the vampire set. I don't know what I'm saying. I apologize for this whole you guys. Um, then I picked up one of the pop mysteries, which is Catch Em All, which is the Pokemon art, obviously. I do love Pokemon. I think growing up, I wasn't like into, into Pokemon. I was more into, I really love the cute Pokemon. Like Jigglypuff was my favorite Pokemon growing up. So I picked up the um, checklist just in case I wanted to use this for a pre-planner instead of my main planner. Um, they're just really fun characters. I love the biggest Snorlax. I think he's in the main box. Snorlax is also, I think Snorlax is actually my main favorite of the Pokemon. Because we have Jesse and James, which always made me, you know, I'm Jesse, so. <laughs> well, I think Oh, uh, Snorlax only. I think he was actually an extra box, like char um, character box. And I didn't pick it up, but that's okay. We got him in the, um, we have him here in the Deco. And I think actually these days my favorite Pokemon are all the ghost types because I feel like the ghost ones have really cool designs and I'm edgy like that. <laughs> That was the Pokemon kit, and then we got a Gothic Romance, which was Darcy's Halloween art for this year. And it had the Frankenstein. It really makes me think of, um, which is the other book? You have Human Humanity and then Biography of James Whale. But this really made me think, actually, of, um, the Frankenstein movie by Kenneth Branagh, which actually gave me nightmares. <laughs> There's some disturbing parts of the Kenneth Branagh Frankenstein movie, but I love the book of Frankenstein, obviously, so I had to pick this up. So beautiful. I just really love this Bride of Frankenstein. She's so, so pretty. You have purple shampoo. Very random. <laughs> uh, it's interesting how you've got, like, you know, the science stuff and the beautiful, um, and the heart and jar, and then you have purple shampoo, but... You know, they gotta like, they gotta clean that beautiful tussled locks. <laughs> and then the freebie was the tall girl, but I picked up the fashion boxes because I really like the tall girl with the with her having the black hair. And I definitely want to have her in the side bow when I use this. Really love these colors as well. Really, really pretty. And then you have like the Franken weenie dog, which is funny. I can't say I was really a fan of the Franken weenie film, but. It, it works because it's a Frankenstein dog. <laughs> so I love that. And then you have, um, was it Boris? Boris is, um, the Frankenstein there. That's cool. I like the hand. It's holding. And the Gothic Romance. It almost makes me feel like it's a, um, a Wuthering Heights version of Frankenstein. Like the actual book. Not the Kate Bush song, but... <laughs> Well, I guess the Kate Bush song is about the book, but anyway, that's what it makes me think of. And I know that um, Darcy loves the Kate Bush, obviously, so it does make me think of that. But you know what? I would totally use this and in the same week watch the film Young Frankenstein by Mel Brooks, which is one of my all-time favorite films ever made. So I think that would be perfect to watch it that week. Um, that would be really fun. And I've read Frankenstein twice now, <laughs> so I love that book. 
because I did a gothic class in university and then I just read Frankenstein uh, for fun later on again. And then there's a the final kit, um, which is bookish. This was my sort of colorful book art. This was requested. Um, I think it was like, I got a few requests from my Instagram asking for requests for like a bookish kit that was more bright and colorful and less autumnal. Cause I feel like a lot of book kits end up autumnal. So yeah, I decided like, I'll try and do a bright and colorful one. But I feel like with these colors, they're also like cool toned. So you could probably still use this in winter, but also spring and summer. So I think that's definitely used for this later on, but I'll definitely use this next year. Um, but yeah, so this is the book kit. I just did like a little like, you know, like a seating area at someone's home, more of an indoor thing. Though we do have a bookshop scene. Um, and this actually ties into that bookshop scene. It's like she's sitting on a bench outside of the bookshop after getting a book and a drink. And then I just changed up these, like some of the books in here. We've got the wave. I just put in the books that I like. <laughs> well, even not ones that I wholly like. I've never watched, I've never read Heartstopper or watched it. And I didn't really like Legends and Lattes, but I love The Hobbit, The Wave Kings, The Fifth Season, The Priory of the Orange Tree. I don't know. I kind of just like, put my own books in there. Uh, and then we got a little reading journal, which I thought was fun, like following their page counts and writing their thoughts about their books they're reading. And then you have like the library scented candle, just a woman reading a book. Just those little details, the freebie. And then I picked up both fashion sets um, because I did one of these extra um, boxes just in case. You've got the laptop with Goodreads on it, and then you have Read, Return, Repeat sticker on this water cup as well as some pillows. And then you have more, and then I think I wanted to use the black hair option of this girl. Well, she's really cute in the dark skin too. Anyway, I really like this girl, so I wanted to use her. I got the doodles. Yeah, I know, I just thought it'd be fun to have bright colorful set. It was requested, so, and then I added on, um, I think this was actually a script. The first, the original drawing, it was the open script in my theater art, and then I edited it to change it into a graphic novel. And it's more of a romantic graphic novel. <laughs> so you can see there's two people um, meeting and holding hands at the end. And then I put on this phone, um, the audiobook Audible app, and then I just changed the book cover to say best book ever. And then, oh, I think, the chapter that I included on the Kindle was um, Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson, which I read this year. And I can't remember the next chapter. I think this is an opening chapter of um, Red, White, and Royal Blue, I think. Because <laughs> I know people love that as well at the moment. That's technically what that is. And then the books in this one, uh, I don't think I changed this from when I released, I recolored this one. I went ahead and went and recolored a few things just to like bulk up the set and make it a little bit easier for me because I've drawn so many book things. But um, this, was, this was in the Easter set from this year and the books are the same. Leaves of Grass, um, Anne of Green Gables, A Room with a View, The Secret Garden and Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> I've read a few of those. Um, and just some more fun groovy patterns just been having fun with lately like a cow print and the the flowers and like the this is like a wavy grid which i already love grid but then having it wavy is really cute <laughs> so there's all those and then we have like the wavy check and then there's the bookshop magpie bookshop but um as you can see here she's i kind of showed that it has like the same flooring and then it's the same bench, technically. <laughs> so I thought that was a fun little detail. She's just left the bookshop with their coffee and a new book. And yeah, I thought it was really fun. And I'm glad it was requested and I got it done. And I think it's a really cute kit and I can't wait to use it next year. Cause obviously I've also been into reading. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying it. But that is everything I've got for this haul. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and otherwise I hope you have a wonderful week.
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.